Hi everybody, Ali from West Spray Airless. Um, I'm going to make this video just to explain the most common problem that happens with airless sprayers and this is one that I get a phone call about or somebody drops a machine off if not every day, every second day. And it's, the machine was pumping, everything was working well and then all of a sudden for no reason it stopped. So it's a very, very common issue with piston pumps and it's not really a big issue, it's something everybody should be able to set up and repair on site immediately. So what I'm going to do is this machine here, it's a Wagner 321, it's the same as a 323 or a 325 or a Titan 400 or 440 and the Graco's are similar as well. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what to do really quickly and uh, what, what, what's happening, what to do and hopefully it'll get you out of trouble next time this happens. All right, we'll get going. So with the uh, Titans or the Wagners, there's always a retaining clip first. So actually before we pull that retaining clip, we'll take the bottom retaining clip from the suction hose. So this is the hose that goes into the paint directly. And it's just a matter of pressing it and dropping it. And I think that's pretty clear on the video. And then just pushing it out. I know obviously I'm doing it with a new clean machine so it's a lot easier to do but nonetheless it shouldn't be much different. You'd probably just have a little bit of paint um, coming over and out a little bit but nothing to worry about. And then just push the suction hose out, pull it out to the side and then you have the retaining clip. Pull that out as well. And you should be able to drop this. Now this has got a, um, a uh, valve release valve on it so you just push that, That's, it's no big deal. But anyway, back to where we are. Now, you will need a big shifter for the Graco's as well as the Wagner's. Uh, basically, what we need to do is remove this big nut. But before that, I'm just going to turn this over and hopefully we can look inside. and give you a look at what it actually is. So this ball here is sitting on a seat. And between the ball and the seat, they make up what's known as the inlet valve. So as the piston is sucking up, this ball is supposed to be pulled up by the suction, paint is supposed to come through, and then as the piston comes back down, that ball and seat need to sit up against each other really tight and create a seal, which allows the paint that's in the pump to be sucked up into the outlet valve, and therefore we have our priming and sucking. If there is anything at all obtruding this ball and this seat, that won't happen, the suction won't happen, and this is what causes the machine to be going up and down really fast. So if that's the case, I mean, sometimes you can actually, once you turn it over, you can actually see that there's something stuck there. So what I'll do is I'll take the lower housing out and expose and show you the inlet valve. Now, fortunately, I've got here in my shop all the right tools to make this happen. Just remove the nut. Now I'm going to keep it at this angle just so I can show you what's happening inside the rest of the pump as well. A little bit of dirt there. By the way, this isn't a brand new machine, it's a X demo, so that's why there's a little bit of dirt in there. So it's a new machine, but it's not really new, new. All right, now inside what we're looking at now is the inside uh, is the bottom of the actual piston rod and inside the piston rod we also have a similar setup where there's a ball and a seat I don't know if I can get this down low enough to show that to you or if I can bring this in close enough but there's a um, there's a ball and a seat in that well you can see probably just see the ball now while you've got the inlet valve out and that, sorry that ball and seat in there make up the outlet outlet valve while this is all disassembled, you also need to just put, poke something in there and just ensure that the ball is free. Now, as I pushed that up, it was actually seated right up against it, and that's purely because this machine was washed out and then left with, uh, without any pump armour in there, so it was washed out and left in water. But now that ball is nice and free. I'll just come back a little. So here I have the valve, complete, with its housing. Now, with the, with the Wagner and the Titan ones, you can't just go in there, sorry, you can't just go in there and pull this out. See, there's a, there is a seal on the inside there, right on the outer edge, and that keeps this retaining cage in there. So the circuit to removing it, and I'll just quickly grab the socket for it. 
is to use an 11 mil long socket, set it up against the seat. So you've got to make sure it's wide enough that it sits against the seat and not the ball. If you push the ball out or force the ball out, what will happen is you'll damage this cage here. And if that cage is damaged, you're gonna have the ball getting stuck. So you just basically put that socket in there or a socket that's wide enough to sit against the seat but not against the uh, ball itself and it will force that in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on a workbench and show you how it comes out on the vice, sorry. Turn this back around. And I'll just finish pulling it out. Probably need to go in a little bit more, but that's okay. Alright, so now what I've got, this is that outer seal that I was talking about. There's the cage. That's the seat, the ball, and the cage. So the whole purpose of all of this was to show you. So I need this seat and this ball to be clean so that when they do sit against each other, there is a tight, clean seal around it all around. If there is even the smallest bit of anything um, protruding or sitting there, we won't get that airtight or that uh, tight seal. And therefore it's not gonna create vacuum. It's just gonna keep, as it's sucking it up, it's just gonna keep releasing it back down. So once it's all back together and I'll assemble it, Put the cage back in, uh, put the seal back over the top, and put the retainer in. So that's all good to go back in now, and I can hear the ball. I know that it's free, and I know the ball that's inside is also free, and the way to test the ball on the inside is obviously to have it in the upright position. And then just push the screwdriver up into the piston and just listen to the play. And that noise you're listening to or you're hearing there is actually the ball. So that tells me that everything's free and there's nothing stuck. Put our inlet valve and housing back in. And I will probably run some pump armor through this now. Tighten it up. It doesn't need to be overly tight anyway, it's got seals in it. We'll stick our inlet valve release. Just gonna give myself some room to move the camera back a little. And then everything just locks back in. Suction hose goes back up. So clip goes back in. Sorry, the locking clip, retaining clip. Yep. So everything's working. And now when I start that up, that should be priming without any effort. Now in the Graco, I don't actually have a Graco unit here in the shop, but what I do have is an actual Graco pump. So this is off a of 39549595. It's not off a PC model, it's off the original um, Ultras and obviously the only difference is the top of the piston. These ones still, the older ones still use the pin whereas the new ones have the T slot for the quick release. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull this one apart and show you um, detail. Well, I can bring it up close because it's already disassembled and show you what's in there and what's happening. So again, on the inside of the housing, you'll have your seat, your ball, and your cage retaining. That should be able to, uh, once it's all in there, you should be able to hear it what, and making a noise, confirming that it's moving. So all I'm looking for is that this seal here, this is obviously only a, a one that I show to customers so that they can understand, so it's not cleaned out or anything. So you're just gonna make sure that they're sealed up against each other, it's nice and clean, 
uh, there's no scratches or nicks in along that seat put it all back in so it goes seat ball and follow it up by the cage once that's back in before again like we did with the Wagner grab the rest of the uh, going back to the pump inside it there's also a piston and inside the piston there is also a valve or a uh, ball and seat which is the inlet valve and you do the same thing you just check that they're free and well if it's not free when you push it you'll feel it you'll feel it come up and then you just listen for the ball to make sure that it's going up and down which it is and then it's just a matter of reassembling your pump and starting her up again other than that there really is not much else that goes wrong other things that can go wrong are different we if we ever get to um, if people request that I explain other things such as the valve and what what's causing the valve to uh, not lock in place I'm talking about the uh, prime spray valve sometimes you hear your machine and you just hear it hissing out of there and that just basically means it's normal wear and tear on the inside or you've got something stuck again behind the needle and seat but we'll, we'll address that in another video so hopefully this video answers a lot of questions or some of your questions and makes it clear as to what's happening and how to, rem how to remedy it without sending it to a shop and waiting sometimes up to three weeks to get things sorted out. I'm Ali from West Bray Ellis. Please, if you have any questions, go, feel free to go ahead and ask in the comment section. Thank you very much.